I'm Fernando Salgado. I showed extra wimpet good, and we just won the Derby Level 4. Can you give us some history on this horse? This horse is, um, he was trained in Mexico for a friend of ours and a good trainer, Jorge Ramirez. And uh, Todd Crawford showed him a little bit as a three and four year old. So last year, before he came, showed him at an RBC, and then at the Derby, he um, asked me to take care of the horse for him, and he came and showed, and he did well. And then after that, um, the owners asked if I would like to try him. I said, for sure, he looked real good. So he was good for me last year. I actually won this show last year, level three on him. And then this year, he's been solid rock for me. I was, I think I showed him six or seven times, and we always marked 23s, 24s. I was fifth at an RBC. Uh, we did good at the Derby. I just uh, missed the qualifier for the run for a medium by a half point there. And um, getting ready here, the owners were here, and I said, he's only, I mean, we still have one more year of the Derby. Um, today I'm going to go for everything and do a little bit different. Don't save it up at all. So we know for the next year what to do. And that's what we did, and it worked. So I feel confident that I, I hopefully can repeat that and do that on the majors next year. Well, it was my personal highest score, so it felt pretty damn good. Um, he nailed the run in, stopped big. One thing I've been working on him to back up a little bit faster, and he did. Uh, so he ran in really good, back up strong. My first turn was real fast, for sure felt like a one. My second turn was okay, he was real pretty, did, didn't fire as much. And then after that was so much fun. I just went for it and he was hooked. Um, on my runs when I'm being marking 23s, 24s, I always felt like certain speed on the fast circles, he just felt weird and I never passed that speed, scared that he would maybe step out a lead or some. And today I passed it and he felt even better. So um, that was a great feel and uh, I'm very excited for next year. He fits me, I mean, I think he would fit pretty much everybody. He is a very, uh, very athletic horse. The way he finishes his stops, it's very, very cool. He gets really low-headed, really deep, uh, bend his back a lot. And uh, again, he was good for Hori, he was good for Todd. I guess I'm just the lucky guy that got him on the end. So um, I'll take it and I'm very thankful for everybody involved. Yeah, that's where my next question was going. Was who do you want to thank for helping you get here? Well, it's a lot of people. The owners, for sure, for trusting me. Jorge, that trained him. Um, for sure, he did more work than I did. And then our whole team, you know, it's been a very long week, long hours, and they are supporting everybody with a smile on their face. And uh, last night, everybody did so good on our team. You know, Rodrigo, Daniel, today, Kaylee, one level one, and everybody behind that don't get to show, but work as hard as we all do. I mean, that's a... Uh, uh, my family here supporting, I mean, so many people. I'm very thankful for that. And for sure, the sponsors and everybody putting this show up, it was amazing, incredible money, and the organization, everything was amazing. All right. Hi, I'm Frank Costantini. I'm here this afternoon with Amanda Lester and Chloe Lawrence. Amanda, you have some questions you'd like to ask Chloe and I as far as what we do with Markel? I sure do, Frank. So what all does Markel cover? We cover farms and ranches, uh, equine mortality, commercial liability, and also autos. And Frank, what's so important about Markel? Well, we provide service. You know, it's a 24-hour claim service uh, anytime, day or night. If you can't get a hold of a Markel representative on our toll-free number, you know, as I tell people, you know, Chloe keeps her phone by her bedside all the time, and, and you know, unless I'm on a plane, my phone is on. So we've got about 24-hour service, and, and I think that's very important because uh, horse people, as you know, have, have difficulty keeping a schedule. And what most people would consider the norm, horse people don't. It's just, it's just whatever the, the particular animal needs and would like to offer the, the fact that we're available whenever they need us, you know? Horses don't know if it's Christmas, Easter, or the 4th of July. You know, every day is the same. Well, Frank and Chloe, thank you guys so much for your time and thank you for your sponsorship of Virtual Horse Help and other reigning events and other shows and all that. You guys are a great part of this industry. Well, Amanda, we appreciate what you do and uh, uh, with Virtual Horse Help and also your contribution that you make and uh, the publicity you bring to companies like Markel and to people like Chloe and myself. Awesome, guys. Thank you, Chloe, for your time. Thank you, and knowledge is power.